don't know how many woolly moths I did keep from last year. I can't remember. Um, as I was going through them, I did see one had passed away. So I did lose one. Um, and then the big giant black um, woolly bear, I believe, was going to be the leopard, um, the spotted leopard moth. He had passed away. So um, I won't have those two, but we'll see what happens if I can um, make some more videos of some of the woolly bears. So just checking on the woolly bears here. Brought some of them out. There's a couple of them in there. And I have one there. And then I have three out here. As I was checking on them, I noticed one was making or starting to make the co their cocoon up in the corner. And right there is the cocoon, right in the corner. I almost missed it, actually. I thought that's pretty cool. But that's what a woolly, woolly bear cocoon looks like. Put some fresh dandelion leaves in there. I didn't obviously have any dandelions, the heads themselves, but there's some leaves for them. Hopefully they come munch on those. And then I'll spray it to keep it moist. I spray it every day to keep everything moist and just put them all back in there. I might keep a couple more to see if I can get the, a couple more to make cocoons. This is the same... Um, house that I have the swallowtail chrysalis in and there is the swallowtail chrysalis so hopefully that one will be hatching soon